Uh, well, it's a really close match tonight. Uh, personally, myself, I had to I had to back up against the wall. Where I'm, I'm having a flu and uh, I had a crash and. Uh, you know, so like I sort of been struggling a bit, you know, but it's a good match, you know, it, it's a bit too close, but um, hopefully we can pull through in the end. And how have you done with your injuries? Uh, well, I, I smashed my knee up, you know, it's really hurting and unfortunately we're riding tomorrow and Monday. So, you know, I just have to get the leg up, you know, and uh, get some mice on it and uh, hopefully, you know, that will help it. Will you still ride tomorrow? Oh, yeah, well, I have to, you know. Uh, it's just one of these things, you know, you just have to put, squeeze the teeth together, you know, and get on with How do you think Beric's doing then? Uh, we're struggling. Uh, unfortunately, like, we had a quite a few injuries, you know, so we had a few changes in the team now. And uh, it's that Martin Dixon's first meeting tonight. It, he went out as a rocket to starve, you know, but struggling a bit now. But, you know, like, give him a couple of meetings, you know, like, and uh, he'll be flying again. You had too many changes. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, unfortunately, they come because like we, we had all these injuries, you know. So um, I mean, like we just have to stick together as a team, you know. We have a great team spirit, you know. So we'll pull through it and uh, we'll come good. Thank you. Days later, Rennie was made captain. A week later, he was gone. Is there one rider you wish Beric had held on to? Uh, in hindsight, probably we maybe should have, hind we should have held on uh, to Rennie Madsen. I mean, uh, it was disappointing that he left in the circumstances that he left in, but uh, I don't think that uh, his loyalties were 100% at Berwick, uh, or you would have wouldn't have fallen out in the first place. Uh, so yeah, I think we maybe should have, in hindsight, kept hold of Rennie, Rennie Madsen. August and the changes are fast and furious. Mike Hope brings in James Greaves and David Walsh. Scott Lamb is now out of the squad with a broken collarbone and wrist. He does, however, hope to be back soon. How do you think things have gone concerning the many changes to the Bandits lineup? We're starting to have a good season now, but at the start it was gay slow with changing engines, frames and everything, you know. But I think now we've got a really strong team on paper, if everybody performs to their full potential, but... There's only a few weeks left, do you think you can manage it? I think we can win a few more meetings, yeah, definitely. And what do you think about Renny Madsen losing his place on the, on the team? I don't know an awful lot about that, but... Um, I think it was a bit of a misunderstanding, to be honest. Do you think it'd be a big miss? Uh, I think he has been up to now, yeah, definitely. So did, did David McCallum's departure come as a surprise? Good surprise. I think after the way Wesley was going and winning the Stars at Morrow, I think there's no way they could have, couldn't have put Wesley in. So I'm glad Wesley's in the team, he's a good team member. I know. It's David Meldrum's birthday. Has Mum Winnie baked a cake? August also claims Wesley Waite, who has a terrible accident 
against Peterborough Thundercats at Shieldfield. He suffers a bruised back and lacerated heel. How do you think that the season has gone? Uh, difficult question really, I mean it's been an up and down year for us, we started off very well in the cup and uh, our league form was pretty poor and that was mainly due to uh, riders uh, getting injured but uh, as far as the season went itself in the league we were finished set and bottom so we didn't do very well at all. So that Crowd-wise and financially-wise it hasn't went too well and I think that was partly to blame one because the weather's so bad this year as you, you know we've had a lot of rain and that certainly hasn't helped us. Plus, our position in the league didn't help us greatly either. What do you hope to do next season? Well, I mean, it would be great if uh, we could get somebody else in to come and help us um, or get a main sponsor so we could run in this division again. But the amount of money we lost last year, it's going to be difficult to stay in the Premier League this next year unless we'll get some financial help of some sort. So hopefully if we get a sponsor, uh, we will be able to go back to the Premier League next year because it's, it's very important that all this money and work we've put into it is kept going uh, and it will keep going at Berwick. Peter Johnson is drafted into the team to cover for the injured Wesley. One big success is the track. Everyone, riders and spectators alike, agree that the track has contributed to some excellent racing this season. Personally, my highlight of the season would be when we end up to Edinburgh. I think we're only the second team to beat them at Edinburgh this year and it was uh, it was the way we'd done it actually I think we beat them by about 10 or 12 points and uh, that was probably our best ever performance in the season. one was when we were lost our first home meeting to the Isle of Wight. Certainly when we started off the season uh, winning the Cup League we did look as if we were going to go great places uh, in the league as well but sadly because of the injuries uh, you're bringing in new riders and they've got to get used to the track and uh, hence it did affect the position in the league greatly. Berwick finished second bottom in the Premier League and Mike Hope has announced that a share system is to be put in place to help fund the border side. But what of the up and coming stars? Now, if ever there was a star in the making, it's Radio Border's Bandit's mascot, Adam Hughes. Adam puts his bike through its paces on the newly banked circuit. And all this at the age of just 10. Seasons nearly over. As Radio Borders bandits continue on into the 1999 season, one thing can be said for sure. As long as there is grit and determination from riders, supporters, officials and management alike, as seen so far, with all the dedicated time and effort put in by so many people, then there will always be Speedway at Shieldfield Park in Berwick-upon-Tweed. Good to win. Uh, we haven't had many good away meetings. Uh, Kyle Lucanon was in a class of his own. 
um, and all of us pulled together. Had a few bike problems of my own and Davy Meldrum helped us out with his bike, um, which I would do the same. I think he's getting a little bit of stick about lending me the bike, but uh, I'd like to state on video that the majority of the points that I got were all given anyhow. So no matter what bike I was on, I would have still got the same points. And I think to have a go at Davy Meldrum about Berwick getting beat tonight, um, when the lad's got himself in the top scorer's race, is a bit overboard. Was there only two points in it? There was only two points in it at the end, um, which made it an exciting meeting. I think Berwick thought they were going to hammer us, but um, they never. What do you think of the new bank track? I think the track's ideal for people who are out and out races, uh, riders like myself, it doesn't really suit, uh, you've got to ride round the boards, and, but uh, I think if they'd done the bottom bend the same, um, it would be one of the best racing strips around and hopefully they would get um, a big meeting here in the future if they'd done it.